Hello everyone, in this video we will build confetti application and first of all I like to go with you to pub.dev and here inside we type confetti and here this confetti package we go inside. This package gives you a lot of possibilities to do your confetti in different ways and therefore we go here to the installing section and copy this dependency and then we go here to our pubspec jungle file and put it here under dependencies this package name inside so I have already done it here and yeah then we can start to build our application so I go here to our scaffold and to make it look more nice I will change here the background color to black and now we have here this black screen and now we want to put here our colored confetti inside therefore I will create here a new widget which is called all confetti widget and I will put here also in my widget folder a new file all confetti widget and then we create here a stateful widget and I name it all confetti and I also will import this one here and we want to put in our confetti widget a child property so I will create this widget child and create a constructor here I add this add required statement here we want to put in some widget later so first of all I like to use here the confetti widget which is from the package so it's exactly this one here and you need to make this import here here we have first of all the confetti controller which we need to set up so we set here at our state level a new confetti controller and I name it controller and then we need to put it into our init state so we need to initialize it so we create a new controller here confetti controller and here inside we can pass a duration I will just put it right now here to a duration of 2 and we will later change this value also and this controller I will put here into our confetti widget so that's it I guess for the basic setup and now we want to put our widget here our child also inside so I wrap this confetti widget into another column and I rename this to a stack then I put my widget child here inside. So this is our component which we want to show and then under it we show our confetti. Let's also go here to our main file then and import this all confetti widget. And here inside we put the child property and I will show you simply a text. So you can show you any component which you like to show. And I write here for example, this is amazing. I use this confetti smiley afterwards and we give it here a style so for example text style and I give it a font size so to make everything great and I set the color of this font to white so let's hot reload it and you see it maybe not so let's also put here a center and I think we forgot some things and it's still not sharing so maybe we need to change here something inside so here inside we go to our confetti widget and wrap it with another widget which is called align and we set here the alignment to alignment center so everything looks fine all right now I have hot restart this application and we have here this text inside but we have no confetti and this is because we haven't set the controller to play so we need to also to say okay play the animation and we also need to supply here in the confetti widgets the colors so we can choose how confetti should look like so for example red colors blue i think that's enough now if you hot restart then you see that we get here some confetti so you can even change here more colors so let's also put here colors.orange and colors.purple and colors Dot whatever you like maybe we take even light blue so whatever you like you can put here inside and then the confetti will look like this and now if you hot restart this application you will see that we get different colors which we have set up first of all I will start with the property should loop and you can set it to true and if you hot restart you will see that he loops the confetti all the time and will always get some new confetti here all right so that's the first thing what we can do. So the next two parameters we will look at are the emission frequency. 
I set it right now to zero and also the number of particles I set it right now to allow value of two and then I hot restart this application and you see that every time he will get here two particles outside this is what he then shows and if you set this for example to a higher value then you see here that we get more particles here emissioned and you can even put it to 20 or something and then you will see here 20 every time 20 particles which will go here out all right you can also change here where this emission should be so for example you can set it to top right and if you hot reload then you see that it is going here from the top right center and you can also change it to bottom left or bottom center we do so it goes from here and if you now hot restart this application you see here a little bit but it's like going every time to the left direction and maybe we want to shoot it up so what you can do is you have here something which is called blast direction and here we set it for example to minus pi divided by 2 so we need to import this pi so make sure to import this math library and now if we hot restart then you see that he's every time shooting to the top direction so basically we can put here different values inside so first of all we have here right which is zero then we also have down which is p divided by two then we have left which is p and then we also have top which is again minus p divided by two and yeah we also create here a new property which is called blast direction and we set it for example right now to right and yeah that's it we take the blast direction replace it here inside and yeah maybe we do it here as a double so that he's not complaining i will also put the alignment again to the center so that he will go from the center so that we can see the changes all right i also need to put here double in front so that the compiler is not complaining here and now if we hot restart then you see okay he is every time shooting here to the right because i have set the blast direction to right and this is going here inside to this confetti widget i can also set it to top so let's hot restart and now you see it's going to top then you can also show here bottom and left or down and left so let's also check it it's going down and the other one is the default one which is then going left and with this parameter you can define from which location this confetti will be shooted and we also can like ignore this property so we can also shoot in all directions and therefore we have here this property blast directionality and we use here explosive and this means that it is shooting then to right left in all directions basically so let's hot restart and here you see so we get like the confetti in all directions i think this is the best option but for your purposes you can also have it differently or you can also set up multiple controllers so one is shooting from left one from right one from here and so on so you can go really crazy about it and yeah let's look at what we also have here for example you can set this emission frequency to a higher value so let's see it should be a value between 0 and 1 so if you put it for example here to 1 then there will be like a lot of confetti going around so let's try this out and you see we have a lot of confetti and it's going in all directions so you can also change here obviously to one direction only and then it is a little bit different let's hot restart this application and let's see that he's only going to the left side for example and you can change it but you shouldn't put it that high because then your app will lag a lot and not all devices can handle that much particles so what you do is you set it normally to a value like 0.2 or lower so this means like 20 percent chance of emission every frame and if you have like 60 frames per second for example then there's like a high really high emission so if you want to keep it low you can put it to 0.5 or something and then the emission is much much smaller here so okay this was about this property and yeah let's 
put it again to explosive. I like this thing. And I will do the explosive stuff right now from the top center. I like it if it's coming down. So let's change it and let's look how it looks like. So this is going all over the screen. And if you don't like that many particles, like I said before, you can change here to less particles so we have much much less particles what else do we have here we have the gravity so this is really interesting so if you set it to low value which is around 0.1 then you will see that this is really slow so let's hot restart so it's not going that fast down and if you have for example one this is like the opposite then it's like going really fast down to the bottom like you can see and yeah you can play around with this value so if you want to have it fast or slower then you can change it here how fast it should go here to the bottom so i will put here maybe 0.2 for the next property i will set this again to center so that we see it better so i will hot restart it here all right and now we have here this blast max force and we set it here for example to to two the other one which is min blast force we set it to one and now if you see here this is spreading a lot and if you set it to a low value here which is higher than zero then you see that it is not spreading in this radius so much so it will start here really slow and if you want to have it higher then you set for example here 20 and 25 so you can play around with these values and then the radius of this blasting will increase so this is a lot radius maybe you can even go like with five and four check it so this is like this and you can just play around with it so how fast it should here go outside of this radius for the next property which is called particle drag you can set it for example to a high value like one and now if you hot restart this application you will see that it will keep the things all together like really close it will not drag around if you want to change it so example 0.5 it will stay almost the same so there's no much going around and you simply can play around with this value this will only make the particles more together or not so close together and if you keep it like for example 0 0.1 then it will spread more and more. I think you can combine these both values, blast force with this particle drag to get your optimal confetti design. And yeah, the last thing I want to mention here is that you also can change here obviously the widget.child and set it also before this confetti which will make that the confetti is over this text for example. Right now it's below the text every time and if you hot restart you will see the confetti is above the text so whatever you like so put the widget child in front of this confetti or put it after this confetti and you will have it the confetti below or on top of this widget which you are putting here inside and the last thing i want to do with you is to put this here to a new method clean it up a little bit for you so build confetti and i put it here to a new widget so this looks much cleaner right now and and i also want to show you that you can wrap this stack around another widget so we will put here a gesture detector inside then every time we want to tap on the screen then we want to stop this confetti rain and if we tap again then we want to start it and how we do this is we go here on on tap and inside we want to get here the controller and this has a state and we compare it here to something which is called confetti controller state dot playing and we need to import this one here so let's go here to the top and write import confetti i go here into the source and then to enums and here we have this confetti controller state and if this is playing then we want to stop the controller so we say here stop and otherwise we say controller.play we also set here another property which is called hit test behavior so that we can literally tap everywhere not only on the text so we need to say here hit test behavior to opaque and now we can tap like all over the screen and then it will change if it is playing or not so let's test this out and you see it immediately stops playing and now every time i tap you on the screen it will stop 
playing and if I tap again it will start playing so I can just tap on the screen and it will stop and start playing the confettis. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!